Hey, it's your boy Real Talk More from Views from the Friends Home Podcast. Today I'm trying something different. I'm going to do a movie review. I'm going to keep it short and simple and not long and dragged out. But if you want to check out our podcast, it's facebook.com slash views from the friend zone. We go live every Sunday at 5 p.m. But let's discuss a movie review. The movie I'm going to review is Godzilla, King of the Monsters. I felt the movie was very disappointing. And the reason why I felt it was very disappointing was the storyline was very inconsistent. The way they jumped from location to location didn't make any sense. It they 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 had to have had a time machine the way they jumped from location to location. A group of people would be together in one scene and the next scene some people are in China, some people are in Boston. Some people are in Antarctica. Some people are in New York. It just it just didn't make any sense because the people were all together and then they're like spaced out. Godzilla found some way to travel through warm ho- worm. They said uh, warp warp holes or um, I forgot the terminology that they use. But Godzilla's traveling through the earth through underground water tunnels allows him to travel 600 miles in the span of two minutes. It just it just didn't make sense. They would talk, one, in one scene they'd be worried about being exposed to nuclear waste, and the next scene they're like so close to the nuclear waste that it didn't make any sense. It just was really bad. To be a 2019 movie, the storyline had so many holes. Godzilla would look powerful and then Godzilla would look weak. Godzilla was This is the first time I seen Godzilla which would get charged up like a battery, right? He he's powered by nuclear atomic energy, which we've never heard Godzilla being unless I I wasn't paying attention that Godzilla is being driven by atomic nuclear energy. So Godzilla has to be charged up like a battery. Godzilla lives underground. I mean, under the water, right? Which we all knew that. But where he lives at, there was a whole civilization of people who were underwater with him, who worshipped him. And since they're not around, we just see their pictures. It just didn't make any sense. People would do things like be right next to a titan and the titan goes to attack them and they escape the titan his their steps or their attacks but these things are huge and they're little old ant people and these people will somehow be able to evade the attacks it just didn't make sense Monsters would be nowhere to be found. Godzilla be nowhere to be found and Godzilla came and saved people every time they needed to be saved. Just inconsistent, bad writing. The special effects was good, but the problem was the special effects make up maybe 20 minutes of a two hour and 15 minute movie. The actors have these long drawn out pauses because you can see that they had to imagine looking at Godzilla or looking at the Titans. And, and if for some reason they didn't pull it off. Right, because there's these long pauses, and they're looking, they're looking at at the uh, camera in a way that you know they're trying to pretend that they see something that's not there. I have to say, if I was going to give Godzilla: King of the Monsters a one to ten rating, I would give it a three. It is that bad. It's two hours of anticipating. You know, you rooting for Godzilla because Godzilla is the monster that we we want to win. The monsters were poorly made as far as like, you know, you would think in this day and age with all the technology that we have, the CGI, that you could make more realistic looking monsters, but the monsters was cheesy. I get it. You want to stick to source material and use the Titans of past, but it just didn't make sense. You had monsters from Germany, China, a monster from China flew from China to Antarctica in like no time. Then from Antarctica to Boston in no time. It just didn't make sense. One minute the monster 
was in Antarctica. The next minute, the monster is in Boston. And it's just like science, science fiction, of course, is supposed to have, you know, unreasonable or un things that can't really happen in real life. But the logic of it just didn't make sense. They would tell you how powerful a bomb or a weapon is, and then it would be so close, right? So close to where it went off that people are there and the people survive it. You have to see it for yourself, but I'm telling you, the movie, you can wait till it comes home on pay-per-view. King Kong, King Kong. Godzilla, King of the Monsters, in the end, also shows you that he's going to battle King Kong in the next movie. So, you know, it's one of those movies, they already let you know that they're going to be a sequel. Whether you go see it or not, they already have it planned out. I would say, if you're waiting, if you want to see a good storyline and action, this is not the movie for you. If you don't mind watching a movie to, to see special effects, but the storyline is poor then go see the movie. It, it explores terrorism, but then the terrorists, the, the reason why people are being terrorists, usually you can understand the cause of why people are being terrorists because it, it benefits some kind of self-interest, right? Even if it doesn't benefit other people, it's like you're being a terrorist because you have this belief. But even the people aren't even convicted, have conviction to the reason why they're being terrorists. It's just bad. It just tried to explore too many different storylines and mix it to one. It's a family drama. It's about terrorism and what we're doing to the environment. It's about the monsters. It's about how the monsters was here first, but then we had to understand to live with them, but then we want to destroy them. It just was inconsistent a very bad movie well i know that was kind of long i want to keep my review shorter but hopefully this helps some of you guys feel free to ask me any questions direct you know this is going to be posted to youtube but you could find me on facebook.com uh search for marvin spanam and i'll answer any of your questions or views from the friend zone Always leave a comment on the videos and we appreciate it. Thanks a lot, guys. This is my first review of uh, Godzilla, King of the Monsters. And if you see this before you get a chance to see the movie, you can wait for it to come to uh, pay-per-view or Netflix or however you view movies once they're out of the theater because this is not something you need to rush to go see. Peace.